Now, your most accurate pinpoint weather forecast. Good evening to you. I'm Patrick McKee live at the Salem Fair tonight. Got the rides back behind me, but my favorite part is just in front of the rides. You throw a big guy at the fair, you know he's going to talk about the food. Take a look at some of the options you've got. It looks like you've got Italian sausage, pizza, stromboli. You've got caramel apples, dill pickle pizza. Doesn't that sound interesting? But just behind me, we've got corn dogs for sale. Nothing says fair food, much like nothing like a corn dog. Billy is back here hard at work uh, selling corn dogs. Out of 10. Billy, what's your favorite part uh, of coming to the, to the fair each year? Uh, I enjoy the family, you know, the, the togetherness. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Enjoy your night. Um, just the love that everybody's showing, you know, the family, the orientation, the, you know, being here as part of a group, a community. And you're a local. You don't live here now, but you, you come back to do this near your hometown. Absolutely. I grew up in Bland. Um, it was there for almost 20 years, and I've been gone for about 28, 29 years. Got to be a little, little nostalgic being able to come back to a fair that perhaps you went to growing up. Absolutely. It uh, regrounds me. It humbles me. You know, I've, I've been to these big cities and stuff, and then I come back to the mountains, and it reminds me why I enjoy coming home. And of course, you've got corn dogs here tonight. Nothing says fair much like a corn dog. That's though. right, absolutely. Uh, the the fresh hand dipped corn dogs are a favorite, crowd favorite for everywhere we go. All right, I'm going to be trying one of these things here in absolutely. just a couple of minutes. I got several other things I got to get trying on too. There's funnel cakes down there, and anybody who knows me knows I love a good funnel cake. All right, enough for me. I got to go eat. Send it into Tab with an update on the forecast. Tab, it's feeling a little bit cooler out here. Yeah, there is a little bit of a breeze. But I saw the flags waving there, and we're looking right now at the new Freedom Farm camera from All Phase Construction. We can see the flag blowing off and on in the mountains around uh, Botetourt County. So we're going to continue to see a bit of a breeze tonight from time to time. Of course, just as we go on the air, the, way, the, the wind debates a little bit. It's trying to move a little, a little ways there. 91 degrees in Roanoke, Lynchburg at 88, 87 in Danville, Blacksburg at 85, and in Bluefield, it is currently 80 degrees. As we work our way to midnight tonight, midnight. Blacksburg, 72 degrees. Off to the morning low temperatures in the 60s. Daytime highs tomorrow are going to be in the 80s. Here come the showers and storms with a chance thereof for the afternoon and evening. They'll be scattered to isolated across the region. Not all of us will be hit with some storms, but it's possible. 91 for the daytime high tomorrow for Roanoke. Possibility of some strong to severe storms in the Roanoke Valley. Also for Lynchburg with 94 degrees. There's just a very slight chance of strong to severe storms happening, but the chances there are all the same with uh, damaging wind being the greatest threat out of those. South side, not so much in the stormy weather, but it could occur on the south side as well. It's going to be hot for all of us. Temperatures in the 90s in Danville. We're going to be about 83 degrees for the Allegheny Highlands for our daytime highs. And again, some showers and storms. Could see a few. There's a system that is out to the west of us. Could bring us some shower and storm activity in Allegheny Highlands overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. So the high temperatures for the week for, of course, 4th of July in the 90s. 90s on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's a trend and it's going to continue to be that way. That strong to severe weather, like I mentioned, the isolated strong to severe storm is possible on a line that extends out of Richmond, slicing just to the south of Lynchburg, heading in just to the south of Roanoke County and Floyd County, Pulaski. That area north in the green here, this is one of five, so it's the lowest category, but the category is still there for the isolated strong to severe storms with some damaging wind. Afternoon and evening showers and storms associated with this front is going to be pushing on through, hitting us during the afternoon in the early evening hours, but then by the time we get to sunset, we're going to find the day looking pretty good and skies begin to clear out. That precipitation continues, uh, that variety anyway, for the afternoon and evening showers on Friday, Saturday, maybe a little bit on Sunday, not so much Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but the chance is actually still there. As far as precipitation goes, you, this time of year, this is one of the drier months, you only get about an inch of rain every week, and uh, it's going to be normal right on through July 13th. Year-to-date precipitation, we are down over four inches for Roanoke, nearly eight inches for Blacksburg, nearly four inches for Lynchburg. Danville is up about two inches, but previously had been up almost eight inches. We do have dry conditions across the region, severe dry conditions in this area here. This means crop and pasture loss likely. Fire risk is high, so use great caution if you're using fireworks at home. Actually, pros are saying, don't do that. Go ahead and go out and head out to the professional fireworks shows. Looking at the forecast here for Friday, again, some showers and storms. 
storms. Temperatures reach again to the 90s on Saturday. Some showers and storms. Temperatures again in the 90s on Sunday. Maybe a little break for most of us, but still a slight chance there. More showers and storms are possible on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And these temperatures, Drew, they're hot. Mm -hmm. They're not that far from the normal. Roanoke, for example, 92 tomorrow. The normal high is 88. So it's not that bad. Yeah, at first, I, when I stepped outside today, I was kind of like, man, I'm glad I'm not going to the fair. But then they were talking about all that food, the funnel cake, the corn dogs, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, would you try the, the dill pickle pizza? I, I, I go for the corn dogs corn and the, dog. and, and the lemon, fresh squeezed lemonade. I feel That's like yeah. I would actually, like there's weird stuff I definitely wouldn't try. I would definitely try the dill pickle yeah, pizza. Yeah, I heard a lot of yeah. talk about it, so. Yeah, I'll try one. All right. Thanks, Todd.